was about 1993. Uh, I was up in my flat in Darlinghurst trying to write a song, as you do. Um, this particular night, I, I had voices in my head. I confess, I get voices in my head sometimes, particularly when I'm writing a song. Uh, this night, I had lots of voices. There seemed to be voices everywhere. Um, I, was, I was thinking about languages. I was thinking about this country. There's so many languages here, and they all seem to coexist quite well. Um, uh, the indigenous languages, uh, sadly, a lot of them are disappearing. I was thinking about them a lot. Um, uh, I thought maybe by writing about them, it could help to bring attention to them. It might help to renew something. It might, uh, uh, it's just good to sing about where you live. It helps to keep it all alive, keep the cultures alive. And as Bruce Charwin, this author, once said, uh, an unsung land is a dead land. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I was just had to write this song. I was writing it and I had the chorus. Hundreds of languages, it was, it was okay, you know, the music and the lyrics, it's all, all seemed to fat really well. Uh, I was a bit stuck on the rest of it, uh, but uh, fortunately the next day I get a knock on the door and it's Mark Callahan. And he comes in and uh, he has a listen to my chorus and uh, he likes it, it's good. And so he has a think about it and uh, comes up with his bridge pretty much on the spot, as he does. And uh, there's this, this bridge, and I thought, that got me going again. And I thought, well, maybe this bit will fit that bit. Um, so there we have it. Um, then he had a bit that fat that, and in the end it all fat together really well. And we had a song, it was a good song. And, and we thought, why don't we make an album? Uh, uh, so uh, that sort of did lead the way to, to uh, the Lingo album. Like, you know, as, you, as you know, um, often you need just one good song to sort of pave the way, open the floodgates, and so we did. Uh, and then we, but we needed a clip. Uh, well, we didn't need it till later on, once the album's finished, but we thought, well, what's a good idea for a clip? Uh, Cal had the idea, come up with this idea of getting newsreaders to mine the lyrics, you know, and it's all about language, communication, getting, the, getting it out to the masses. So he just started ringing up newsreaders, and, uh, and, we, and also around the same time, um, my son was born, Riley, and he was 11 weeks premature. In the, um, so we thought we'd donate some money to the Paddington Women's Hospital where he was born. They needed stuff, you know, like fridges and stuff, and that seemed to, to help us persuade a lot of the newsreaders and TV announcers to, to join in. And so it all worked out good in the end, and I hope all those children go on to speak many languages. This is hundreds of languages. Oh,